Welcome back to the basement yard. Today it's me and Danny. Danny's got his fucking feet up on the table. Apparently you think that's cool. What? I guess. What? Well, this is your place now, I guess. Oh, I'm you got so and you got sneakers on. Not only do you have your feet on the table, you got sneakers on. You're breaking all kinds of rules here. They're brand new. This isn't this isn't nom. There's rules. They're brand new. That doesn't matter to me. Isn't that bad luck? You don't no, put brand new shoes on the table? No. I've never heard that ever. I've heard it. You don't put shoes on the table? I don't know. Brand new shoes? Brand or new sho shoes. I can understand shoes. Like, you don't put shoes on the table. That could be bad luck. Brand new shoes? Like, when does that rarely happen? I don't make them up. I just enforce them. All right. Now, please. This is distracting. It's really, it's driving me crazy. Why? Just, please. I'm losing it over here. All right. What about one? No, because now all I'm thinking about is the stretch in your hamstring. It looks very uncomfortable. <sighs> I think you're going to pull a muscle halfway through this thing. It's better for my back, though. What's better for your back? Hey, listen. I've been sitting waiting around this place all day. All right? Sitting around waiting. What'd you say? I've been sitting around waiting around all day. Sitting and waiting. Sitting and waiting. My but, back is stiff. So, Excuse but, me. Wow, you had a tough day. It's not that it was a tough day. I have a bad disc in my back. You have no bad disc. Yes, I do. You've got serviceable discs. I have a herniated disc. You have nothing. You want to see paperwork? I want to see. Oh, show me the disc. Which uh, one? What's it called? Which disc? Are they numbered? L5S1. Thank that? you. That's like a fucking code for Grand Theft Auto for Look like it up. unlimited guns. Look it up. L1, R2, what'd you say? Look it up. L5S1. L5S1? Google it. First of all, even if it's true, fuck your disc. Please get that, <laughs> please get that goddamn shoe off the table. Just haters. <laughs> and also, you're wearing a ton of Adidas right now. I don't know what that is. First of all. <laughs> I'm going to cross my leg now. I love how I just opened this episode. And I'm just. Get at Yeah. yeah. I'm just leveling into you for some reason. Employee of the year. I'm not, even, this, I'm not even upset. I'm not even mad. I don't know why I'm doing this. I think you're just jealous of my sneakers. I am. I, I want those. Well, you could have just said that. Yeah, I want them. But I do want them off the table as well. All right. You know what I'm saying? Thank you. Thank you. See that? Yo, oh, you remember when That's you were... such a scumbag thing to do, right? <laughs> it's like... Yo, you know what's the worst? Here you go. You know when you were younger and you stepped on someone's shoes, they're like, yo, you got to clean it. Yeah. I do, I do remember that. That I was the most that. disrespectful shit. That's basically like, yo, suck on my fucking ass. Yeah. And you did it. I don't think I've ever cleaned anyone's shoes. Fuck no. But I think I said that to someone, and they were like, dude. And I was like, yeah, I'm not I'm not big enough. That's a hard old move right yeah, there. Yeah, I was super young. I only had one pair of Jordans in my entire life. Really? 14s. The red and white. Yeah, I remember. I had them. My dad beat the shit out of me because I didn't wear them to my basketball game. He's like, why the fuck did I buy them if you're not going to... You were trying to stay fresh. Yeah, I was trying. I was trying to get after it. I didn't want to crease them. I was yeah. walking like a duck. No, but I do wear a lot of Adidas. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. You got. You have a hat. You have a. You have the pants. You have the shoes. You got it. Basically everything. And the socks. Sock game strong. Here's the thing. It's a big Did rule. You, do that? you coordinated everything with Adidas on purpose. No, I, I just like to stay fresh. Oh my big God. boy fresh. BBF. What happened today? I don't know. <laughs> But I'll tell you this. Did you, you get the lotto? Is there something I don't know about? No. No. I just... I do, I do quite well. Yeah, you do. I do well. Yeah. But um, the reason I wear Adidas, I love wearing Adidas, is because they're they're big boy friendly. They got a good plus size section? Yeah. They're, they're better than Nike. Like Nike, shout out to Nike. Just do it. I'm down. I bought, <laughs> I bought a pair of all black Nike Air Max 270s in support of the movement. <laughs> I did, and I showed them. Remember, I sent them to you. Yeah, you were like, "I guarantee you, you bought a shoe today," and I sent you the picture. Yeah. Um, and their stuff just runs very small. It they're, does. It, they're like for the real athlete. Yeah. The casual wear is way better, Adidas. Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. Makes sense. Them and H and M, big guy friendly. Big guy friendly. Big guy friendly. All right. A lot of elastic. <laughs> Get my stretch on. Also, did you see Adidas? They there was some article or some shit going around on Twitter. They're making a shoe for this girl who's got like twelve toes. Oh yeah, yes, I did see that. I don't like. I, I don't remember much about it. I'm losing my voice here. Huh? Um, sorry, I said huh? No, yeah. So I didn't know whether to run like a good. curl or, or <laughs> keep going with the fucking podcast. Right. <laughs> yeah, I was just like, yo, go for a pass real quick. Yeah, no, dude, you just check down. But uh. They, she has 12 toes 
which is, you know, you know, I'm not a mathematician. That's too, too, too many. Yeah. Too, too many. Right. Too, too many. Too, too. Not too, too many. Like, whoa, 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 whoa. Too many. Too, too many. It's just the number two, too many. You're supposed to have 10. And Adidas is making her a shoe. I remember, I remember seeing this on Twitter. Hold up. Yeah. Pull it up because all I saw was a picture of her sitting down and she had 12 toes. Adidas 12 which toes. It, it didn't even look weird. Like I looked at it and I'm like, I had to count in order to know that it wasn't normal. You know what I mean? Yeah. Athlete with 12 toes to get custom made Adidas footwear yeah. after an appeal. An appeal? Yeah. What does that mean? Asian Games gold medalist. I'm going to say this name wrong. She's an Asian Games gold medalist? Her name is Swapna. Swapna Barman. Whoa, that's fucking sick. Yeah. Swapna. Swapna. How do you... Sw- we'll, we'll soon get customized shoes for her 12-toed feet. I don't mean to laugh. I just, I'm just reading the tweet. <laughs> As Sports Authority of India, SAI, has tied up with footwear company Adidas to provide special design gear for the Hepta Athlete? What is Hepta Athlete? I don't know. Someone Does that mean she like, pays like five sports or something? I guess. Damn. I thought it was like an athlete that has like extra stuff. No, no, no. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Like a, like a Paralympian? No, no, no. No. I think he- like, yeah, like a Hepta Athlete is so fucking stupid. Oh, my God. Uh, She was born with six toes on both of her feet. Now, here, let me, let me ask, let me propose you something here. Okay. Oh God! Would you rather have eleven toes or twelve? Oh, I want twelve. I need. I want balance in my life. Yeah, yeah. I'd be like the best tightrope walker in the world if I had twelve toes. Probably. Do you think that's like PEDs in a way? Do you think toes make you faster? I, like she's got two extra toes. Like, are we not? You know what you, I mean? If you hurt your big, t- if you break your big toe, yeah, your balance is done. Now, hold my on. balance is kind of trash to begin with. You so if have, I lose my big toe, I'm. Just leave me on the ground. She has an extra pinky toe. Oh, my God. Yo, first of all, pinky toes? Probably the worst toe there is. Mine doesn't even look like a toe. It just looks like a like a bubble. It, and the nail is just... It's disgusting. It's yeah. really gross. And especially because clipping that nail is almost impossible. It's You can't. It's impossible. If, unless it's the, the smallest if, nail if, I've ever seen. <laughs> I need a different fucking nail clipper for this toe. Yeah. Like a real small one? At first glance, looks like 10 toes. I know. I looked at it. I'm like, that's just two feet. Yeah. But then you start counting. You know, one Mississippi, two Mississippi. I don't want this to come off weird, but once you get in there, it's a little creepy. What? 12 toes. Yeah, of course. Listen, I, I, everyone can... I, I'm not trying to be offensive, but 12 toes is not normal. I mean, shout out to... It, yeah, shout out to Adidas, but 12, 12 toes is not normal. This shoe is not going to be normal. No, it's going to be a little wider. I'll cop a pair of the sh- of the swap miss. <laughs> You're gonna get a twelve foot toe. Yeah. Uh, tw- wait, what the fuck did I just say? Twelve foot toe. That's a big ass toe. <laughs> <laughs> no, but she's got twelve toes. I'm not saying that's gross. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. Obviously, it's not normal. Normal people have ten. Yeah, that's fine. It's like people have third nipples. Yeah. First of all, weird. I'd rather have twelve toes than a third nipple. Yeah, me too. I don't like that. No. Just like a random nipple just floating around when you're near your belly button and shit. I don't like it. Yeah, I don't either. I wonder if you get the same sensation. I was gonna say, does it like? Can you flick it and be like, "Oh, be like, suck is it my, nice? Suck my third. Suck. My- <laughs> <laughs> That's disgusting. That noise you made was weird. Yeah, that made it seem like I was down to do it. That sounded like a drop in like a movie trailer. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded like a spaceship landing. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think. Do you think? Do you think though they have sensation? Yeah. In their third net. Yeah, probably. Sage that net. Get it hard. Yeah. She's like, dude. You- <laughs> You got a knife in your stomach? It's like, nah, dude, it's my nip. Nah, it's actually just my third My, my third, third nipple. nip. Is there a scientific name for nipple? I know we talked about nipples last time, but... Is there a scientific name? Yeah. I don't know. I think they're just nipples. Yeah, they're just nips. Yeah. It's all right. Yeah, so, but... Uh, I, I well, really... Shout out to Adidas. I, I saw that, but I didn't know that they were... Yeah, that's dope. She won the Asian Games? Yeah. Gold medalist. Gold medalist. The first Indian to win the Hep Dathalon. That answers my question. Now getting custom shoes from Adidas. What do I got to do? Clearly, also, this isn't like... What do you mean, what do I got to do? I want a custom shoe, too. I'll go get some extra fucking toes or something. That's true. Or win a fucking gold medal. Yeah, could try there. Yeah. Because you could have 12 toes, but you don't win a gold medal. Adidas is probably not going to know about it. 
this is coming out of left field, but I feel like if I went back in life, I don't know, I could have been an Olympian. And here's why. First of all, let me stop you. Nope. See, so you're thinking nope. you're, you're way inside the box. <laughs> what? Team handball? I would have had a shot to make the Olympic team. Team handball. I was amazing. At handball? Yeah. Not this handball, like in the park. Oh, what handball? Like team handball where you throw it and you have like three steps. And That's an you Olympic can pass. sport? Yeah, it's an Olympic sport, dude. Is it really? Yeah. I played that in gym class. Yeah, now tell me you don't think you maybe could have had a shot. I think I could have had a shot. Nah, man. Let my Olympic dreams die right here. <laughs> I don't know about that. Maybe you could have done something else, though. Maybe if you really... Yeah, maybe I watched it on TV. If you really worked out, you could do, like, bobsled or something. Yeah. Because you, you don't really have to be an athlete. Well, you have to be an athlete, but you have to be an athlete of, like, I'm just yoked yeah. and fast as shit. Yeah. Which comes with working out, I guess. Yeah. No, you couldn't have been that either, actually. Why not? I don't I know. I could put your fucking sled. Yeah, but you're not that fast. I used to be. Yeah, but you didn't run a 4-4. At one time, I... You did not run a 4.4. I want to hear it. No, I ran a 4.5, though. I was 165 pounds, though. 4.5. Yeah. Well, 4.5... Tell you what. 4.5.8. In addition to your fucking slip disc paperwork, I'm going to need that paperwork as well. I mean, that's You're making a bunch of claims today. No, it's on tape. What are you, the greatest human that's ever lived? It's on tape. On tape? Yeah. Were you at the combine? No, it's just that it was on tape. I could could play some ball. I was fast. You did get some offers, right? Yeah. Where'd you get offers from? St. John Fisher. Hartwick was another one. Bower State, you said. Bower State. Um, that was about it. All right. Bower State was the only D2 school to hit me up. Nice. Yeah. All right. Well, there's, that's good. Yeah. But this chick with the... Chick with the I really want to ask, though. Do you think that having an extra toe makes you quicker? I is think... That a, you, is that a dumb question? No. I don't think it's a dumb question at all. Obviously, yeah, but, she had to appeal for something. But we're both kind of on the same level of... I feel like here. I feel like yeah, that's true. I, I feel like twelve toes yeah. would give you an advantage. It's it, definitely not a disability. Now, it was also that guy that killed his wife had the two fake legs. Yeah, that's a little sketch to me too. <laughs> Listen, it's a beautiful. Th- Actually, fuck that guy. He shot his killed his wife. Yeah, fuck guy, him. Fuck that guy. And your fake legs. Yeah, but that's the thing. It was like, isn't that kind of cheating? Yeah, you got Terminator legs. Yeah. Oh wait, don't. Th- but is, he does the Paralympics. No, he was a real Olympian. First of all, that's fucked up. They're all real Olympians. You know what I mean. Yeah, I know what you mean. I'm kidding. I just, the I ones just, that go on TV. I was pushing you on the podium there. She's like, let's get this guy on CNN and start apologizing or something. Yeah. No, but... <laughs> I got to fucking release a statement no, but after he, this. He wasn't... He wasn't... <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't uh, in the Paralympics. It was like just the Olympics. No, nah, fucking motherfucker was out there running. That's nuts, man. They called him the Blade Man, I think, because he had like... Blade legs. Wow. That's wild. Yeah. Dude, if I lose a toe, I'm toast. Fuck yeah. Dude, do you want to see my pinky toe, by the way? Yeah. Let's we were see talking it. about it before. My toes aren't in good shape right now. <laughs> are you sure you want to do this? Yeah, dump them out. <laughs> dump them out? <sighs> Fuck. All right. All the foot fetish people, the blogs are getting. Yeah. Look at this. Damn, dude, you're pretty flexible getting that leg up there. Yeah, I can get, get after it. Bring that thing as close as you can to you. Look at that. <sighs> My groin's screaming at me. Yeah, right yeah. Now. Put it down. Put it down. Yeah. It's not in as bad shape as. Yeah, you got to clean that up though. <laughs> Yo, my feet used to be a lot worse. I'm not a big foot guy. Mm. Are you a foot guy? I don't mind them. You'd suck a toe. Yeah. You've sucked toes. Yeah. You've sucked toes. I've sucked a toe. Toe? You've sucked toe or you suck toes? I've sucked a toe. Which toe? I mean, big toe. We don't gotta get into specifics. No, here. I I need I now I need details. It wasn't the big toe. It was a smaller toe. You got a small toe. If anything, I'm going to like lollipop big well, toe. It, it's like it's not during like, like give me your foot. I'm gonna suck your toe right now. It's just like in the heat and the passion of love, <laughs> a toe may have slipped into my mouth. Toes don't slip into mouths. Yeah, unless you're getting kicked in the face. Thumbs slip in the mouths. Yeah, but on purpose. Love making. Yeah, on purpose. Very, very purpose. Yeah. A little bit of that. A little bit of that. Pah. You like that, don't you? Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Uh, so oh, wait, hold man. on. So, okay, a toe, you know, I sli- think- whoa, and slipped in your mouth. Yeah. Okay. And it wasn't the big toe. First of all, gotcha. 
Only the big toe can slip into that mouth. You can't, you, first of all, you ever try to separate your toes? It's impossible. You can't do that. So you, you picked out a toe. I'm trying. Did so, you pick I'm it out? You picked it out. I just saw what, what was the f- first thing on the menu. But did you grab the foot? It's and like then, when they bring you a menu at the place, you'd be like, what's the best thing you got? Okay. And, and, and I had that. Yeah, but I feel like what you did was like, remember that game, Guess Who? It was something like that. You grabbed the toe, you folded the ones down, and then you found the one. You're like, you got that one. No, no, no. So then which toe? You know the toe. You'd never forget that. It, it, I guess it was like... The ring toe. The ring toe? That's one of the worst toes. First of all, toe rings? Remember those? That's dumb. How com- so, How can that be comfortable? I would always see girls in like thong sandals and ring- toe rings. First, No, hold on. Who I, does that? I'm not letting you go anywhere here. I don't go. Bring it back. You sucked on a toe ring. No, I didn't. I mean, you sucked on a... T- <laughs> That I did not. The ring toe. That I did not. Wait, what is that toe called? The ring toe. Toe but ring. It's not, it's not a ring toe. You don't put toes on. You don't put rings on toes. I'm trying to visualize it. It's. It would be the second. It would be this toe. Oh, the foot was up here. Yeah. No. But oh, I was this. My, we were talking about Mish. I was on my side. Yeah, oh, no. you were sideways, Mish. I'm trying to figure out how I did this. No, it was like this. Okay. And I was holding the legs here. Yeah. And right? then you just And I was holding like the leg there. Yeah. Listen, then... can you stop? stop. Like... Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I'm good I'm good without the fucking no, no, gyrating. But, but I need it for the, the visual. I understand. Like using it like a pump handle. And okay, go easy on me here. There. It didn't slip in there. You sucked on a toe ring. Yeah. That's the hardest Not a toe one. ring. Uh, whatever the fuck. How many fuck times it? are you going to say toe I, I ring? I can't. I'm dyslexic right now. I can't do it. It's fine. The ring toe. Yeah. I don't think it's that crazy to suck a toe. I don't, I'm not saying. It's not like I stay there for a prolonged period of time. I Listen, all I'm saying I'm is. I'm fucking sucking that thing off. So listen. <laughs> I sucked that toe to completion. Yeah, just hit a, hit a little one of those. Oh, you just hop in, hop yeah. out? Okay, test the water. Very short cab ride. So she she stuck her foot in the water to see her the temperature. Yeah. Did she did she like the temperature? Not really. Not really. <laughs> Here's all I'm saying. Okay. Mm-hmm. All I'm saying is, especially the ring toe. <laughs> you got it right now. Finally. That that one is impossible to move. You can't move it. Yeah, you can't. You can't. No. So you isolated that toe, and you went after it. And I'm not saying, hey, listen, toes aren't my cup of tea, my bag or whatever. Right. But you can't sit there and be like, it slipped. I'm not. It, no, you went after I, that. What, what I mean by it slipped, I mean in the passion of love making, it happened. Why do you keep saying that? Because it's true. The passion of love making. And the passion of love making. Okay. You know? So you toe slipped right in there. I'm not a big toe guy. I could tell. Yeah, I'm not. You, you, something against toes. I don't have anything against toes. Are you self-conscious about your own feet? Oh, no one's sucking on these babies. <laughs> Unless you want to get kicked in the face accidentally. I kind of have hairy feet. I got some hairy... I got hairy foot knuckles. Yeah, that's all right. You're Itali- are, we're Italian. Yeah, but it's not good. You don't really have hair anywhere else. Like I got to do a lot of manscaping. Yeah, no, I don't have. Uh, well, I have some chest hair, but it's a little just like you know what I'm saying. It's small. Just a little pepper. So my, mine gets. Just a little pepper. Mine gets. You know. Yeah, yours is. Yeah. That could turn like, into a sweater. Yeah, I collect like I like I collect money on every like the third Thursday of every month. Right. You know what I mean. But it's just a little pepper. A little pepper. Yeah. No back hair. I would take that off. What? I would not rock that. Why not? If I had, I wish I ha- had that little. What, just a salt, just some pepper? I cut that all off. Why? And you don't have back hair either? No, thank God. Yeah. Back hair is gross, man. Well, thankfully, mine are like, they're thin, like Asian hairs. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I have, I have, uh, I have a lot to take a hack at them from time okay. to time. I like to keep it clean back there. You can't, you can't be walking around crazy. Some of my buddies like shave their arms like swimmers. And oh, then they're like just from here? Yeah. I'll do up here. Because nah. if there's hair like here, I don't want that. I'm fr- I, I, I can't shave here, though. Like, that would just be insane. Yeah, no. I would look like a burn victim, like, if I did that. Yeah. It would look so weird. It, they, it, I don't know why they sh- they shave their arms. Yeah. I'm it, like, why don't you just, wha- like, if you don't want it. Wax them. Yeah. Wax them. Or get nair. 
Nair for men. Nair's kind of scary. I use Nair for men for right here. Do you really? Yeah. Does it burn? No, it's fine. Really? Yeah, it's fine. I feel like that would burn. No, it's not too bad. I mean, you feel it there for a little bit. It's like peroxide? Yeah, it's like more like like by my traps. And Wait, like, so how, how does Nair work? Like you just put it on where the hair is and it burns the hair off? Yeah, it, it like down to the follicle and then you wipe it off. Girls do that for their mustaches. Mustache? Yeah. Yeah. They have like that little, you know that little thing? Yeah, they got some peach fuzz. And then they just, they wipe it off. That's what that's what I do. Just to get like, I got like four or five here that I, instead of ripping them out. And I'm afraid of that shave myth. Oh, like if you shave it, it comes back thicker yeah, or whatever? which is not true, but. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> that was wishful thinking it's like it's not true wait i don't know yeah you know what's crazy you want to hear something pathetic it wasn't until i was like 21 that i figured out that girls have nipple hair yeah thankfully i, I haven't crossed one i haven't crossed i i don't know if i have i don't know because uh, sometimes you get a random hair in your mouth you're like i don't know if this is me or if it was like it was here when we got here or if it came from that nip no I get like girl's hair in my butt. <laughs> Random hairs? Like you're like, what is this? Yeah, you're like, what? Is this like gonna set a bomb off? Like I'm pulling it out, I'm like fucking David Blaine in the bathroom. <laughs> you ever pull like- someone else's hair out of my ass? I was like, what is this? Whose hair is this? Also You know what's funny? It's when cur- I was like, I don't have curly hair. When you see a hair like in your waistband, you're like, what the fuck? So you start pulling it and then you feel it like on your like opposite butt cheek, you're like, how long I, is this hair? And you start pulling it, it starts tickling the whole way. Yeah. It's going through my grundle and it's te- shit. It's terrible. My bunch. It's terrible. And I gotta like feed this thing out of here. It's crazy. God. Why how does that happen? It's just walk it's just I don't know. I walk around my apartment naked too much, I guess. Yeah, but uh, Do you ever walk around your apartment naked? Like from the shower to the to the To what to, to the, the bedroom to yeah. like change that tr- that walk is too far it's way too far <laughs> i hate i would hate that i hate it i hate it god forbid you like leave your phone in the bathroom too oh my god or if i leave a light on i go oh, oh i gotta walk fucking downstairs now this apartment should be a smart apartment what the hell does that mean like you should get all that stuff where you could control it through your phone oh so you don't have to worry about all that shit i don't know in this place that's true i'm getting the hell out of here soon soon I think I think I might be moving too. I don't. Oh. I don't know. I don't know. Are we having this conversation on on air? Or probably we? shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> T- tell everybody where we're gonna be living. Like, so. Where are we doing today? Where are we gonna live? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, no. But the the show must go on. The show must go on. So just yeah. make sure there's who else sh- is gonna talk about a nipple hair? Yeah, like true. Fucking- so you've probably sucked a titty hair. <laughs> Titty hair is funny. Is that your shirt? Uh, yeah, hair? probably, probably. I mean, definitely. I mean, there's hair everywhere on a human body. So, like, and, you know, I'm I'm out here sucking tits. Yeah, man. So I'm sure there's been a hair, you know, in my cross hair. Yeah, I've, I've You've crossed the hair. I've crossed the hair. It's 100. Yeah. percent That's happened yeah. before. This all came from a girl with 12 toes. Right. Yeah. I don't know how. I don't know where the rest of this is going. No, but it's all going to stem from that. How old are you when you first sucked the titty? Oh, this is a funny question. How old was I when I first sucked a titty? Just weird that you do that for the first time. Right. That well, obviously, not like, not right, your yeah, mom, yeah, okay, not my mom's titty. Fucking jokers out there. Yeah, how, you sucked your mom's titty. Yeah, we yeah. get it. Yeah, we get it. We yep. all sucked our mom's tits. Hell yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting that response. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't know. You know. I don't. I remember it like it was yesterday. You remember the first time you sucked a tit? I remember the first time I saw a tit. It was a bet. Oh, man. Did I tell this story? Do you ever see a titty and like you get that weird feeling in your brain? <laughs> what does that mean? It's, I don't know. It's like <laughs> mad endorphins get released. You're like, oh, that was, it's, this is awesome. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how to explain it. We're, but it was like we're grown a, men. I know. A, t- a tit never gets old. No, yeah, I still get excited around titties. Even if it's like, if you showed me a picture of the same tit every day, I'd be like, still good. Yeah. <laughs> like, you wouldn't mind it at all whatsoever. No. Yeah. You know, it's so funny if like, some people are like, if women just walked around topless all the time, mm-hmm. guys just like, they would get desent- desensitized to tits. <laughs> that it wouldn't be like, oh my God, I need to see like whatever. 
And I'm over here going, nah. No, that's, it'd be great. It'd be the greatest day of my life every day. All the time. Yeah. If we walk around in Times Square and they have like painted tits for no reason. Yeah. And you're like, those are titties. Those are titties. I know those are tits. <laughs> there's titty under that paint, isn't there? <laughs> <laughs> I'm on to you. I know yeah. there's some nipple under that paint. Yeah. I know what you're talking about. Me and my girl went to this thing called Sleep No More. Have you ever heard of that? No. It's at the McKittrick Hotel. It's like, Sleep no more? Yeah, it's like it's like multiple floors. We just do fucking cocaine? <laughs> Basically. But it's like multiple floors and it's like live action acting like a play. Oh, you're gonna say fucking. I'm no, like, no. Jesus. Well well people fucked. There's they're naked. All of them. A good amount of them. We're talking eighty eighty percent or are we talking I'm about talking like- about like I saw like flaccid dick and tits. And they make you wear masks and shit when you go in there. It's like a live thing. You saw flaccid ween? Yeah, yeah. Flaccid dicks suck. Yeah, but I'm telling you this. If I'm in... Uh, I'm taking a look at that dick. Just for comparison. Duh. You know? For scientific reasons. Yeah. Like, no. um, we were there. It's called Sleep No More. Well, You should look into it. It's very strange. I'll be honest with you. And there was a blood orgy type thing going on. See, now I'm definitely not going. Yeah. Wait, what? Yeah. There's like a murder scene. I was going to say, don't stop talking. Okay, so... Don't you, tell right, me so, about the blood orgy. So what happens is you, you walk around, There's these, you walk up these floors, you can get in an elevator. All these people are in character. It's like very weird. It's like... You ever play Bioshock? Yeah. It's like that era, like renaissance like kind of weird. Great Gatsby? Yes, yes. A lot of comb-overs and suits? Yeah, just like weird shit. And then it's like... People uh, call you a sport? Yeah, yeah, they'd be like, well, "How are you doing, darling? It's good to see you." Out loud racism, not that, not too, that far. Well, that era, I'm no. saying. But there were two funny moments where I was standing where an actor was supposed to like go on with the scene, and I made them break character twice, which I felt great about because I fucking couldn't stand these people. Wait, were you like, are you one of those assholes that would go to like Buckingham Palace and be like, "Yo, nice fucking hat, loser"? No, Until it smirked. No, no, it it happened. By accident, there's phone booths in there, and one of the phone rings. I was just happened to be in that booth, and it started ringing. And one of the actors looked at me like, "All right, get out of there." I was like, "Oh, you fucking broke character, you bitch." I was like, "I got you." And then for the blood orgy, the guy puts like a horse head mask, a bison head mask on him, and then they put a strobe light on, and there's just blood everywhere. Why the fuck did you go to this? Because my girlfriend wanted to go to it. Yeah. Isn't that Is weird? Is she a vampire? Like, oh. I don't know why she wanted to go to this thing. But it was very strange. There was a strobe light horse head blood orgy. Yeah. And then there was like titties and dick everywhere. Oh, and insane, insanely, insanely yucky gross. Icky gross. Icky, 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 yucky gross. So wait. Oh. I'm looking. I'm looking it up right now. Flaccid dicks are terrible, dude. Covered in blood, that just makes it like ten times worse. I can't even imagine. Yeah. Where is this in the city? Yeah. Sleep No More is a New York City production of a site-specific work of theater created by British theater company Punch Drunk. It's primarily based on William Shakespeare, Shakespeare's Macbeth. So it's like very creepy. I'm just gonna show you like a couple of images, but it was like. Kind of cool, but it was like very scary. Like you see, like those people wearing the mask. That's what they make you wear. Oh, this is freaky. Yeah, it's freaky shit. Oh, I don't like this. <laughs> and there's titties and dickies. A lot of titties and dicks. I see like a coffin. Was people dying? Yeah, dead people. It's very strange. What the fuck is? I'm not going to this. Yeah, there's a graveyard downstairs. It was strange. There's a graveyard downstairs. What are you yeah. nuts? Dude, fuck that. Yeah, fuck that shit. Fuck that whole thing. Whatever you yeah. just said. But titties are great. Yeah. Kendall Jenner was naked riding a horse. At that? Not at that. Just like oh, recently. Oh, just in life. Yeah. Wait, why? It was for, for some. Sh- it was for some shoot. She said that she liked her titties out. That's her quote, not mine. She used the word titties, I believe. She, uh, She's like, I like having my titties out. I'm like, that's that's dope. Doesn't make doesn't hurt my feelings. No, I definitely. It actually. I would I would argue that it. Puts out positivity to the world. Yeah, she's not coming out with it was like a it was like a photo oh, shoot. Shit, she's so naked. Yeah. Where does it, oh, 
She's very naked. Yeah, she's very naked. She's fully naked. Her titties are out. There's no horse, though. I'm just seeing she's at the beach. There's oh, she's on a horse. <laughs> <laughs> now I see the horse. Now I see the horse for sure. I wouldn't ride a horse naked. Yeah, nah. Too much. Yeah, too much. You probably see these pictures in the reflection. <laughs> <laughs> That's fixing, crazy. Fix and pose? We'll fix it and pose. Yeah. We probably won't. So No. Hopefully uh, YouTube doesn't take this down. But yeah. Um, you could definitely see him in the mirror. Yeah, he can. Yeah. Anyway, so I just saw Kendall Jenner's tits. What do you think? She's very tall. Yeah, she's huge. Yeah. But you're asking me how I feel about Kendall Jenner's tits. I mean. She's a hottie. Yeah, it's the titties, bro. Yeah, titties I'm all, I'm all titties. If you showed me your tit, a part of my brain, at first, would go, whoa, whoa. And you'd be like, what? And then you'd have to and decipher And then I'd be like, wait, a lot of hair. Yeah. And then I would... And it's then a, the other part of my brain goes, dude, no, we're you, good on that. You can machete through there. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I don't... I'm not a... You know. I trimmed it up for the summer. I popped top. I have long nipple hairs, too. You gotta just shave them, dog. I don't want to shave my nips. Just clip them. Clip them? What, with a nail clipper? No, with a scissor. With a scissor? Yeah, you just go right up. Takes Dude, two seconds. No way. You probably have like six nipple hairs. Oh, let me count. Don't look at me. All right. No, there's a good amount here. Dude, just, just hit him with the clip. There's more than I thought. Wow. And now... See, right now they're all folded. Like, you know when people make crop circles and they just kind of like push down the wheat yep. or whatever the fuck that's what it looks like yeah. right now but sometimes when i wake up in the morning and i'm not wearing a shirt in be- like in bed they come out looking like oh <laughs> remember remember in rugrats the doll <laughs> with the fucked up hair? <laughs> that's what, that's what my nipples hair look like nipples have bed head yeah exactly that's hysterical well you fucking told me i had hair in my ears remember well you have you had a lot of hair it was nuts how come no one's ever told me that? I bought that trimmer and the stuff came right out. Well, when is everyone, anyone even, like that close to your ears? I guess. Who's getting that close? There's no reason to be that close to an ear. That's yeah, true. No one tells secrets anymore. How often do you take your earwax out? Probably not as much as I should. I, I've been doing it more recently. I definitely hear better. <laughs> but I heard you're not supposed to use Q-tips. That's bad for you. I heard that too. But fuck that. I would never do that candle shit where they pour it in. What? They pour like wax into your ear. And then they pull it out, and it takes, like, mad earwax out. I'm good. Yeah, I'm good on that. I'm good. You know, my dad used to clear his ears out with car keys. Ugh. That's a, that's a real thing. That's a man. He would just be like this. Like, Dad, I, can I give me the keys so I can start the car? And he's got them in his fucking ear. Have you ever tasted earwax? No. Never? Wow. Just by accident. By accident, what am I sucking on someone's ear? No, I put my finger in my ear. I've done this before. I've gone to bite my nails and I've bitten to an earwax. I don't. I'm not it a is hand one the, in my we, mouth guy. You're not. A, you, you you don't bite your nails. No, I don't bite my nails. I, I bite don't like my nails. That's why I wash my hands like crazy. I wash my hands a lot, but I bite my nails. So wait, you taste the earwax? What's that like? Disgusting. Is it worse than jizz? Never tasted jizz. Oh, that was uh, a trick question. <laughs> I was at you. That's like that question when you were younger. It's like, do your parents know you're gay? <laughs> You're like, no. Oh, so you are. They just don't know yet. There's no right answer to it's that like, question. Uh, you're, if your hand's bigger than your face, you're a genius. Yeah, it's like, slap your hand, you fucking idiot. Dumb asshole. Yeah. But uh, no, I've never tasted jizz. Is it gay to taste your own jizz? Is it gay to taste your own jizz? It's just gross. I think it's gross. It's definitely gross. Jizz is gross. It's just weird that our body has capabilities of to shooting. To make stuff out of nowhere. And shoot, and shoot different liquids out of our dicks. And yeah, what is this? It's like those things at a bar. It's like you want you want Coke, you want Pepsi. What do you want? <laughs> it's like how the fuck can we do that? It's just weird that my body goes no, not pee. Shoot the gooey stuff. Yeah, no, no, not this. We'll do this stuff now. Yeah, who's inside there doing this? I know. Directing traffic in there. You know yeah. what I mean? And also like t- also, titties just make milk. I know. Yeah, girls can produce milk, pee, poop, squirt. They got a whole lot of stuff in there. They got an arsenal in there. Hell yeah. Like a fucking Swiss Army knife of fluids. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. It's scary to me to know that there's so much that goes on in the human body that I have no idea how it works. Yo, you know what's crazy? That you brought this up. Tasting jizz. I saw a video. I saw a video. <laughs> Vi- <laughs> 
it's so funny. <laughs> I thought you were going to talk about like the human body and how amazing it is. Oh, it's crazy that you brought this up. Tasting gin. <laughs> oh. oh, God. This is getting flagged. Um, Props. Anyway, uh, I saw this video on YouTube of this guy called a gay god. Gay god. Okay? Which... He's the god of gay. God is like the new Lil. <laughs> oh, like Lil Uzi? Yeah. Like, god, gay god. Straight he's not gay. a rapper, though. He's just a gay dude. Oh, I thought he was a rapper. No, no, no. He's just a gay dude. Oh. Uh, he does YouTube. He's <laughs> just a gay dude. Yeah. yeah. He's a gay dude on YouTube. And um, it, the, the title of the video was like, uh, Do Vegans Taste Better? Uh I'm gonna I'm gonna ju- cut to the chase here. Dude jizzes into a cup. You don't see that part. He's just holding it the whole time. Yeah, 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 yeah. He is. So he's holding a cup with his jizz in it. Mm-hmm. He goes into detail about how he got it in there. Okay. Right, and then he he, he just tastes it in front of every in front of everyone in front of everyone. Ugh. I feel his like own jizz or another guy's. No, jizz? no, no. It was it was it was his jizz. Which is way worse. I think if you're drinking jizz, you gotta taste someone else's jizz. Yeah, you taste your own jizz. Jesus. Also, I'm gonna get to something else in a little bit. Ah. But anyway, my throat's closing. <laughs> <laughs> I can't think about jizz. Yeah, no, it's not good. It's so disgusting. But anyway, <sighs> this dude's got his a uh, cup of jizz. Cup of jizz, right? How much are we talking here? I mean, it was a jizz. A good amount of jizz? It wasn't like a full fucking... Like Peter North? Yeah, it wasn't anything crazy. Peter, not... Peter North, you fill up water bottles, that guy. That guy shoots ropes. Yeah. That guy is fucking... <laughs> I don't know what he's doing in there, but he's holding on to him for months. Isn't it kind of weird that guys wish that, like, in the back of your mind, it's like, I want to bust huge loads. <laughs> like... I know why. It's weird. I don't know why. It's like, yeah, I just like... Don't jerk off for three days so you can just shoot a rope. <laughs> oh, we're disgusting. No, but it's this is stuff guys think about. It's true. It, 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 it's disgusting, yes, but newsflash, men are disgusting. Yeah. Also, and we're both very nice men. Women, we're just, uh, women are disgusting also because yeah. if, if you watch porn, they also want a giant, they say giant load in, on porn. Yeah. I don't know how, you know. Yeah. We get like a bucket full. That's a little too much. I don't know. We're gonna have to call a cleaning lady to come clean this up. Right. Um, but anyway, this dude has a has a shot glass of jizz, and he's tasting it, and he's going, "Oh, it tastes sweet," because he's vegan. So I guess he's like, uh-huh. "Oh, it's sweet compared to other jizzes that I've had," right? Because he's a gay dude, so he's tasted jizz. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So his own jizz, though, he was like, "Oh, it's good." He's like, "I'm surprised by how good it is," and to me, that's gross. I'm never watching this video. You don't. No. Because I, I think it's gross, and not because he's gay. Because the question I wanted to get to is because is like, since he's gay, right? Like to us, if you drink jizz, we're like, all right, that's kind of gay. Yeah, you know. But if you're a gay guy and you're drinking jizz, and it's your own jizz, like I, I mean, I can't really figure out all the gay math, but I think it kind of cancels out, and it's not weird. No. It's is either it, that or it's super gay. I don't think so. Is it like is it is it so gay that it's not gay? No, no, no. I think it's I think it's just cuz like gay dudes taste jizz. Yeah. It happens. Yeah. It's part of love making, baby. Part, it's part of love making. You know what I'm saying? If you're not if you're a gay dude, you're not tasting jizz, dude. You're sucking loads, tasting t- tasting toes. Back to the toes with you. I'm Jesus. Sorry. They're you got to make, you gotta make on, everything about you. They're on my mind. Uh so if if you're tasting jizz all the time okay then having your own jizz doesn't seem like a big deal no it's like licking your own blood probably that's disgusting well like you, ever cut, you, you ever cut your finger and like no that? you've never done that no i hate that maybe more than jizz are you are you afraid of blood i'm not afraid of blood but like it's it, it's gross so you've never cut your finger and been like Ugh. why would i do that because you, you know don't what have I hate? A, you don't have a band aid. You never you never got cut playing ball or something. Yeah, just, just like, let that bitch bleed. Damn, it looks fire. It does. I love that. Drip down my arm. Another. Are man. you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Another man thing. Yeah, let it bleed. Yeah, 
Or I just stick like my shirt on it or something. I don't know. I don't know. Won't, I was a weird kid. Won't drink jizz. Won't taste blood. What's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm, no, but seriously, like that was that that was that was gross. I mean, jizz is gross to me. To me. To me. Like I, I like I. But we're in the minority here because I think gay dudes are like it's fine because they do it, and and women do it. Well, some of them. Well, most. I think most of them. I don't know. I would say I would say most of them don't. Most of them don't yeah. taste jizz. Yeah, I don't think they like it. I wouldn't like it. Well, I don't like it. What I'm saying is, there's there's women and there's gay dudes and then there's straight dudes. So it's like we're in the minority here, but I'm sticking to my guns. We're in the lowest percentage of cum tasters. Yeah, I think, I don't think it's good. No, I don't think anyone thinks it's good though. <sighs> we gotta ask Asa. Yeah, we gotta ask Asa. I want to ask her too, like. Have you ever done like a porn and a guy just like busted the worst load ever? This is getting crazy now. Yeah. It's getting a little wild. I know. And like. I don't know where to go from here. Can either. they keep that? Keep what? Like that cut or do they have to bring like a stunt jizz? <laughs> <laughs> where you're like, all right, dude, would you smoke 10 packs of cigarettes last night? It's like bringing the lefties. It's like coming out. It's like, yo, come on. Bring him in. Because this, this is ridiculous. Pete. This guy had Wendy's. You believe this? <laughs> Day before shoot, this guy had Wendy's. Don't they say like if you eat pineapple, your jizz will be sweet? Is that true? I don't know. Well, this kid, the kid, the gay guy. I didn't think we were going to be talking about jizz. Nah, and especially not for this long. No, nah, I know. Uh, the gay guy kid said that he's a vegan, so he eats healthy, and it was like gay god. So, I, but I think that makes sense though. Like, if you chain smoke cigarettes and you eat like shit, I, I only imagine anything that comes out of you is gross. Yeah, it's kind of a fire name though, gay god. That is fire. He's a god. He's a god. He's a god. <laughs> he's Who am I to tell him he's, he's on? He's a gay god. He's a gay god. Good for him. Yeah. Great for him, actually. Scarfing down his own Come stuff. Come on, man. Come on. The scarfing. Scarf is... Wait. Is that the right thing? Yeah. Scarfing down food. Like Thanksgiving. You're like, oh, I'm scarfing down. But you, you could wear a scarf. There's double meanings to words. I know, but it's just weird. I, I never, so. I never put that together. Scarf and scarf. I don't make the rules here. I know. I just read the books. I hear you. You know. Speaking of Thanksgiving, though, <clears throat> where's that rank on your holiday list? It's up there for sure. Well, it's not. It's not better than Christmas. It's up there though. Are nothing. you? A, are you a fall guy or a winter guy? <sighs> it's tough. I like like for weather. I like fall. Fall's awesome. I think fall and spring are the best. Summer, you're like, oh, it's so hot. And then winter, you're like, fuck, I shit. Yeah. Fuck this. Summer and winter, I could do one week of each. No. Yeah. No, I could do it a month. Dude, we had that stretch like two months, like two weeks ago where it was like 94 degrees every day. Yeah. I was like, this needs to be done. (laughs) And the other day, it was 70 degrees. I was freezing. 70, you're freezing. Yeah, your body has to acclimate. I'm good in 70. Yeah? Yeah. We've been having a lot of rain, too, though. That's probably... Well, I went to Denver, and it was really nice over there. How was that? It was like 70, 70, 80, but it was really like not... Like, it's not humid over there. That was your summer vacation, right? I mean, basically. Yeah. Yeah. It was nice. Expensive or no? No. Not that bad over there? No, not at all. First of all... Way worse here. What? Yeah. I thought I was robbing people out there. I'm like, the fuck? Like, first of all... uh. At the dispensary, three grams of marijuana was eighteen dollars. Wow, which is like sixty something here. Yeah, that's insane. Also, at the <coughs> football game, the dude who walks around with the beers, you're like, you know, can I get a beer or whatever? Seven dollars and fifty cents. Yeah, I wish. I was like, dude, these are fourteen dollars and fifty cents in, in New York, and they're this big. Yeah, I was like, seven dollars and fifty cents. I was like, that would be a good price for a bar. Yeah. Like, if I was at a bar and they're like, yo, seven bucks, I'd be like, give me ten. I hate that, too. When you go to the fucking bar and the guy's just like, hey, bud, what do you need? <laughs> I'm like, dude, he's can working, you fucking Ryan? just calm down and take my fucking drink order? <laughs> What's up, bud? What do you need? <laughs> he's opening shit. He's pouring shit. Yeah, I'm like, man, finish that first. Yeah. And then you can get me a Bud Light, okay? Yeah. Don't get crazy. And then they they pop the top off a of Bud Light. It's a twistable fucking top. <laughs> I hate when they do that. Yeah. It's like, 
Oh, cool. That's cool. That's great. And then they give you the, it's going to be eight. And then I turn around and look right at the register. I'm like, oh, do I want to pay card? Do I want to pay cash? I'm like, you know what? And I also hate, you want to leave it open? They got to ask. I know, but I always close. I don't always close. I'm a big closer. Why? Because I, I feel like I will leave it there. I've left it there numerous times. Yeah. It's whatever. You got to go back the next day and get it. Oh, God. Sometimes it's not there. And you go, well, we've got a situation. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we need to check the phone. You want to close it out? Yes, yes, please. No, like, cheap I, fuck. Yeah. I have such a problem with leaving my card at places that whenever we go somewhere and, I, and the guy goes, you want to leave it open? Like all my friends look at me and I go, all right. And they go, all right. And I'm like, someone remind me, please. God. Also, there was another time we went to like a dive bar in our neighborhood that like, is you know, you have that local shit bag bar that you go to and it's like beers are like five bucks. And yes, it's like, you best. know, whatever. And like every other beer is free because you know the bartender. Yeah. I ran up a $250 bill at one of those bars and I don't think anyone's ever spent that much money ever in there. Yeah. So now like they have like a fucking busk of you in there. I think. I think they're building a statue of me outside, <laughs> yeah. and I left my card there. So I sent one of. I was like, "Yo, can you go get my card?" Because I was like, "I would, I would need to be carried." And basically, uh, you didn't drive that night. I hope. No. <laughs> All right. What are you nuts? It was a local bar. <laughs> what was that? It's my asthma inhaler. You're taking asthma? Yeah, I'm not feeling good. Were you talking too much? No, I'm, I'm okay. <sighs> Keep going. Abuterol, man. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. What'd you say? Abuterol, it's called. What is that? It's like uh, for your inhaler. That's a beautiful word. Abuterol, yeah. Name my daughter that. <laughs> Abuterol? Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck I was talking about. No, I was at that bar. You are talking about the bar. You ran up a $250 bill. Yeah, I told one of my drunk friends who, who was also drunk. I was like, Yo, Oh, the you, car. Can you close me out? There was no car. I said my card. Duh. Oh. I was like, can you go close out my card? And he went and he wrote my name in print. <laughs> <laughs> he just wrote Joey. I love make, <laughs> I love making people write my name on stuff. Isn't it so funny how people are so hesitant to sign your name? They'll be like, "Whoa, why?" I'm like, "Dude, this is in third grade. Yeah, it's not a it. progress report. You're not gonna get in trouble for forging. Just sign my fucking name." I just told you to do it. Yeah, nothing's gonna go wrong. Yeah, like fucking FBI is gonna fucking swing in here and arrest everybody. Not only that. But whenever I have to sign things on those little fucking things at the cash register, I always fuck it up. And this is coming from someone who just writes their signature all the time. Yeah. Not I'm, that I'm signing deals out here. I just do it on paper for no fucking reason. I hate, too, like when you go and get a sandwich and they give you the receipt and they have that line for tip. Yeah, it puts you in a weird spot. Puts you in a weird spot? Yeah. I always just pay the total. I don't tip that shit. Dude, that happens all the time. When you go pick up, yeah. do you tip? No. I don't tip either. Why would you? I don't know. Only re reason I would do that is if I was mad famous and like the people showed me like mad love in there. No, but when you're like, yo, we want to take a picture with you. Then like, I'll be like, here's a little whatever for you. No, I don't know. Because it, it, it honestly, I think it makes more sense to tip when you pick up because you call it in, they make the food, right? Somebody made it. Somebody. Somebody bagged it. Yeah. But they're getting paid. Yeah, but are like you getting the, paid? Like the cook is getting paid hourly. He's not getting paid in tips, right? Uh, no. I don't know who I'm tipping. That's another thing. Who's getting this tip? I know. Also, I hate, too, when waiters pull tips. Like they pull their tips. Oh, pull it. Yeah. Oh, they said pull. Well, well, they, well, they pull them together and yeah, they, yeah, yeah. They, pull, they pull them. But it's like, uh, if I really liked you, I want you to get this $40. Yeah. I don't what the want, fuck is that noise? I, Can you move your phone? That's it. it. That's, that's it. it. Wow, yeah. that's never happened before. Yeah, but um, yeah, like when they pull them together. Yeah, well, like why am I giving you fifty bucks if you're just gonna give it to this fucking schmo over here? <laughs> I was a waiter for a little bit. That's a disaster. You're probably terrible. I'm a great waiter. Yeah, right. I'm a very personable guy. Hey, Danny, what'd you like tonight? That was not good. Let me try that one more yeah, time. That was, I shouldn't know that, your that name. That was so forced. Why do you know my name? I don't. I shouldn't know your name. Yeah. Where do I work? It'd be better than this. You better be. Hey guys, how you guys doing? You guys ready? I don't like that. You don't like when they ask you if you're ready. Are you guys ready for what? I'm hey guys, what's going food. on? I'm Karen. I'll be your waiter today. Just have a take a look. And I'll come back in a second. All right. Anything to drink? Can I start you with drinks? Yeah. I like waters. You want lemon in yours? I'll be right back. 
I always get lemon in my water. I don't I don't like the whole separate thing. I'm not a big fan of how meals are structured because <laughs> when people come out and they order drinks, it's like, okay, this is one part. Then they leave for like 20 minutes. Then they come back and they go, can I take your orders? And you go, yeah, sure. Here's all the shit. Then they leave. Then they come back with appetizers. Yeah. Then they leave. And then they come back with your food. Just give me the fucking food. I love when waiters are like, do you want it? Do you want us to just bring it out? I'm like, yes. Yes. Just bring bring it it the fuck out. Because an appetizer. Here's why an appetizer makes no sense. You're still eating food. Yes. It's not like you're getting something like, like you're just tasting something. Be like, oh, now my, I'm now I'm ready to eat. I'm eating real food. It just makes no fucking sense. I'm not in my living room. Yeah. Is it a chips and dip? How are chicken wings appetizers? How how is mozzarella sticks? This is some heavy cheese. Yeah. If I eat six mozzarella sticks, I'm gonna need a second. I'm, I'm a second. I'm gonna need 15 minutes. Yeah. I'm, I'm not. I'm not. A, I'm not a big fan of the word appetizer. Here's the thing. Here's how it should be done, okay? Restaurants, if you're listening, here's how you do it. You come over with a big fucking notepad, not this little foot bullshit, right? You go, what do you want to drink? Everyone goes, this shit. You go, okay. What do you want to eat? Well, we're going to have these appetizers. Just start bringing it out as it's ready, okay? Wars are ready now? Great, bring them out. Like I don't mind. Like I'll eat a burger before like a chicken wing. Like I don't care. I don't care. Yeah. Does anyone care? We're hungry. People do. People care about order? Yeah. People care about order? Yeah. You like three part meals? Oh, I'm going to have a salad, then I'm going to have a chicken, then I'm going to have an entree. What the fuck? I'm also not a dessert guy. Oh, that's where you're wrong. Would you like to see the dessert menu? Fuck yeah, dude. You Pass o- it over. <laughs> Pass that dessert menu. I feel like Would you like espresso? No, it's fucking 10 p.m. Yeah. Why the fuck would I want that? I have work tomorrow. I don't like that when they offer you coffee at 10 o'clock. What is that? It's stupid. It's like, what is this, morning? Yeah. Dude, I didn't eat a bacon, egg, and cheese. I just had fucking chicken parm. I'm, I'm ready to go to sleep. Yeah. They might as well fucking bring cocaine out there. Yeah. Would you like uh, to not sleep for the next six yeah. hours you or want, no? You want to do like three rails before you get out of here? <laughs> three rails. <laughs> oh, yes. Thank you. I want to walk around my apartment until two o'clock in the morning <laughs> looking out the window. It'd be great. Oh man, and just shitting violently, like. <laughs> yeah, I want to think my mailman's in the FBI. Yeah, sure, let's do it. Why does he keep looking at me? Yeah. No, but I don't like that whole thing. And no. also, the 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 yo know, the worst is the check. Did we talk about this? When they come over, yeah, we talked about it. How they come over, then disappear, and, and then come back. I don't like this. I don't just like. Take the, it, dude. Just stay. I have my card in my hand. The guy puts a book on yeah. me. He fucking runs away. Like, hey, yeah. hey, take the fucking card. You know what I mean? I wonder if they do that, like, if you were to rent out a restaurant. First of all, that's a baller-ass move. First of all, why the fuck would you do that? I don't know. Rich people would do it. Yeah, it's dumb. You would never rent out a restaurant? No. Why? People do it for, like, their weddings. That's different. It's a wedding. I know. I'm talking about single dates. It's a little crazy. Yeah. Why? Why? I don't know. And that's a, that's the only reason the be- I brought it up is because I saw Drake did it. On a one-on-one date, one of the best parts of... Being on the date is being able to look around and just judge everybody. Yeah. That's a great part of the date. That's true. Look at this old fuck. Yeah. You think they fuck? No yeah. way. She hates him. This is it's a it's a really fun time. I I gotta try and not be on my phone as much when I go out to eat. You're on your phone? Yeah, sometimes. I, I shouldn't be on it. But the, but the thing is, uh the reason I brought up the date like renting out, I saw that Drake rented out a restaurant. And for a model, and the model was 18. What? Yeah. He's dating an 18-year-old? Looks like it. How old is Drake? In his 30s. He's older than me. That I know. He's 30, 31. What could you possibly have in common with an 18-year-old? It's an 18-year-old model. What could you possibly talk about? I don't know. Yo, 12 years is a big deal. Not that it, not that twelve years is a big deal because when when you're past a certain point, it's all it doesn't matter. I know, but but eighteen. Yeah, you know what I mean. That's why it's a big jump because thirty something to eighteen. Can you look up how old he is? 
Yeah, I'm looking at that's exactly what I'm looking up. Like 12 years when you're 30 and you're dating someone who's 42, whatever. You guys are you're the who you're going to be for the rest of your life. Yeah, you've experienced your life already. When you can 18, marry a 40 year old. When you're 18, you just figured out like everything. Yeah, I don't even like I don't even know. He's 31, he'll be 32 next month. 18? I know. And I just read that He's known her for two years. Was he red shirt in that? Uh, it looks like it. That's weird. This is a Tiger situation here. Why do celebrities get the okay with this? With dating eighteen year olds? No, yeah, like and like dating mad young women. I don't know. I think they just fuck so much that it's like, well, adults don't do it for me. Not that 18 is not an adult, but listen. Listen, I know people that listen to this podcast and they're 18 <laughs> and they're going fucking ape shit right now. And they're I can going, fuck whoever I want. I'm a grown fucking what? You're not, but it, it, you're just, you're not. Yeah. And that's fine because at 18, I was saying the same thing. I'm like, dude, I can think for myself. I'm 18. I'll figure it out, whatever. But I can tell you right now. I was a horrible person at 18. I'm not saying that you don't know what to do with your life. I'm not saying that you don't know this, don't know that. All I'm saying is you're going to change. Yes. You're not going to be the same person at 18 that you are at 25. Drastically, too. Dra- Dude, me at 18, I don't even know who that guy is. Yeah. A completely different. Wanna, yeah, I don't even want to think about it. So that's what I'm saying, where it's like, that's what I mean. So it's like, and especially at your 18. Yeah. But, you know, you're a model. You're thrust into this world. The biggest rap star in the world asks you out. You're going to go out with him. What? First of all, it's a fucking home run for her. Yeah. Why does it smell like broccoli in here right now? I don't know. People downstairs must be cooking some shit. Yeah, you always got. I think they're Ukrainian tofu? down there. Yeah, tofu. You always get some weird smell in here. Yeah, I get some like cauliflower right now. Yeah, yeah, it smells like that. I'm not a big fan. Yeah, it's gross. They steam those vegetables. They steam them. Um, but yeah, she hit a home run. Yeah, obviously for her. For her, this is great. A little sketchy though. It it, it is a little weird. I will I will say it's a little sketch. I mean, do your thing. Do your thing. Yeah, but also. Eh, it also is weird. It's like you're 18, you know, and for two years. Something's weird. You were having some thoughts at 16. Texts were being exchanged. Or maybe not texts, but definitely some signals. Joe, you don't... If some you're, signal age. If, if you're 28, let's say. Yeah. No, he, yeah, he's 31. He was 29. Mm-hmm. You're going to befriend a 16-year-old? How many 16-year-old friends you got? I... I, I, I <laughs> I don't even know if I have a 16-year-old cousin, to be yeah, honest Yeah, I don't with even you. know how many 16-year-olds are in my life. I don't know. And I don't even know what the hell we would ever talk about. So we agree. It's mu- it's mutually sketch. It's sketch. It's sketch. Only because of the age gap, like where it is. You know what I mean? And then also, 18 to 31. Yeah. It's a weird gap. And he rented out a restaurant. Getting serious. She drank. Whoa. Did she? Had to. <laughs> you said that like you were so sure. <laughs> No, I don't know. You, he, no, she didn't. Maybe. Yeah, if to rent it out, do whatever you want. That was like the weird thing too. Celebrities. Who like, is this girl? She's a model. I don't know. Um, I'll try and find her name, but is she like her dad is somebody or something? I don't think so. <laughs> Naked Kendall Jenner just came up on my phone. <laughs> Drake. 18. Move your phone. Sorry. Jesus. Sorry. I'm getting all kinds of signals. Now it says 18-year-old girlfriend. Oh, my God. Drake is reportedly dating 18-year-old model Bella Harris. Bella Harris. <sighs> she's like, she's got her, someone in her family's got to be famous. Otherwise, where the fuck would they meet? I don't know. That, say, that hug's say, a little weird. That, is, a, that not is a weird str- hug. Not a strong hug by Drake. No, not the not the best hug. Look a little clingy. I feel like if you're a dude, you can't go under hug. No, you got to get over. Yeah, you got to give her one of these. Like ah, yeah, you know. Going on with you, just in, yeah. Can't do this. Do you do you go completely over? I like going completely over sometimes. Yeah, because I want to I want to engulf you as a man. Right, and then but under is a little weird. Yeah. Sometimes I like airplane. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Sideways. Airplanes are good. Let's split the difference here. Let's get sideways. Yeah. I like that. This hug, though, I think he's going double under here. I can't support that. No. She's a model, so she's probably mad tall. Dude, I smell the cauliflower like yeah, and, like I, it's right here now. I do, too. I'm trying to ignore her, but I can't. I can't either. So, yeah, he's going double under in this picture. 
Just a little crazy. And she's only one arm hugging him. Yeah, it means like he likes her more. And she just has her arm around him like this. Yeah. It's a little weird. Maybe she's sunning him. Could be. Her, her caption is no place I'd rather be. Oh. Maybe she's just a big fan of the song. I don't know. <laughs> it's a good song. Yeah, it is. Oh, and she wrote... She had another picture with him. Oh, she's tall as shit. Yeah. Well, she's a model. Uh, She had another picture with him. He's wearing like a... Dude, Drake's like a big windbreaker guy. Yeah, loves windbreakers. Terrible dresser. Not really. Not really great. He's a terrible dresser. He's a he's a big uh, sweatsuit guy, too. Big we just, sweatsuit we just let guy. it all slide, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. For God's but, sakes, put some jeans on, Drake. I don't think I've ever seen him wear a pair of jeans in my life. <laughs> I don't think so. He's a comfy guy. He yeah. Stay comfy. I mean, I don't mind it. Yeah. She has 73,000 followers. I have more followers than her. <laughs> <laughs> you could date Drake. You guys are closer in age. It wouldn't be weird. He's a Nike guy. I'm an Adidas guy. We can't do it. That's true. Yeah. Lightning round. Kanye or Drake? Wait, what are we talking about? Just who do you like more? Oh, Kanye. Yeah. I couldn't I'm do st- it. I'm still not like sucking his toes or anything. No, I'm not sucking Kanye's toes. Kanye sucks toes. I could see him being a sexually weird dude. Yeah. Like, I think Kanye does weird shit. Yeah. Like he'll like watch porn while having sex. Yeah, or like, like wear like, a wig. Yeah. He's in some weird shit. Yes. Yes, he is. Yeah. <laughs> and he has cried yeah. a lot. Yeah. Definitely. Or said weird stuff. Yeah. I would. I, he is a weird. He's I a sexual be, deviant. Yeah, probably. I feel like he would wear a cape. Like he's like, hold on, real quick. And he yeah. has a cape that has like a K on it. Like Yeezy Season Seven cape. Yeah. That, like no one's ever seen. Sex just cape. Fucks. Yeah. A lot of. I weird think we're songs. onto something. Here. I think we are too. I need to talk to this guy. I know you met him once, which is cool. Yeah, but I didn't ask him if he's wearing a sex cape. <laughs> If you could meet any rapper right now, who would you want to meet? Jesus, I have, I don't even know. Sucks about Mac Miller though. Yeah, that's awful. Yeah. For a long time, I that was probably the one. You wanted to meet Mac. Yeah, I I don't know why. I you never felt, you know, you never met him. No. I always felt like uh, we would get along, which is like a weird. I feel like everyone says that about people they're fans of. Like, oh man, I feel like we'd be best friends. Yeah. But I really did feel that way. Um, Very talented kid. Yeah, absolutely. That was like my. F- he's probably now that I think about it, he's probably one of the m- most inspirational people I've ever had in my life, like inspirations. Mm. And I never wanted to be a rapper or anything, but it was just because we're the same age. And when I, how old was he when he started blowing up? Like he was like 16, 17. 17. He was like seventeen I th- years old. I think old. seventeen when kids came out. Yeah. So. That stuff was coming out, and at the time, like I had dropped out of. Well, I was in high school still, but I was knew I wasn't going to college. I did a semester and then dropped out. So at that point, I was just like a fucked up kid. Uh, at that. Bauer. Well, I went to Bauer for a semester, Bauer State, and then I, I, uh, I dropped out after a semester. But yeah, um, after that, like I was listening to a lot of Mac Miller at the time. Yeah, it's just because he was like a fun like whatever blah yeah. blah blah he's not saying the most inspirational things but it, it was the simple fact that he was like a very successful kid who was my age and he played like the youtube wave too yeah he was probably the first one who did that yeah one of the f- first ones who did that and it was like yo was what white. the fuck yeah he was a white dude and it was just like i liked the music and it was awesome and i was following him and he was getting bigger and bigger yeah. and it was just it was just nice to have somebody that's like at least I know it's possible now. Right. Like it's possible right now. You know what I mean? Like you know it's possible for people to become become successful. Yeah. But yo, we didn't like especially us growing up. We didn't. Ha- I don't think we had any young inspirations. Like a lot, everyone was also like always older. I feel like. Yeah. Like, like the now rap- every- rappers and shit were always older. Yeah, and now everyone's like, yo, all these kids are like fucking like little pumps like seventeen. Yeah, I know. And like he's one of the biggest rappers, and you got Lil Uzi Vert and fucking we had like Lil Juice World and fucking all these people that they're young kids. I like Juice World. I like him too. Um, we had but like, all, we had like Lil Bow Wow, like Lil Romeo. That's who I had. Yeah, I guess. But I, yeah, I was that was later than me. Yeah, but like that's I, who I had. Growing I didn't really have anyone. Like everyone was always adults, and it was just like, all right, this dude like came out of nowhere, and like he's good. He makes cool music, and like all this stuff, and. 
I remember listening to Best Day Ever because when I was, I was, this is mad dramatic, but when I was younger, like there was stuff going on in my life at home and stuff, blah, blah, blah. So I would take walks all the time yeah. just to get out of the house. And now, and Best Day Ever was like one of the fucking albums that I would listen to like constantly. I just found it inspirational that I'm like. That's one of his best songs ever. What, Best Day Ever? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I just liked the whole idea of like, and it was like corny stuff, like looking back on it. But you know, you're 17, 18 years old. It was like the thumbs up, like most dope stuff. He got so much better lyrically as he got older, though. Yeah. Like what he was doing there was like college rap, like dorm room rap type he, shit. He was 17. Yeah. But once like, once he got older, like he started, he, that kid could rap. Yeah. He could rap his ass off. So it it was and then when when I saw that he died I said 26 I was like I thought he was older than that. I thought he was my age. No, I knew he was my age. So that shit was even scarier too. Yeah, man. It's it's a bummer. But yeah, it just fucking sucks. But I don't know. It's trash. It's it's, tr- trash. it's still it's it's going to it's going to be trash forever. And it's weird because that you know, I had no idea how much I looked up to this dude or how much like he impacted my life until because like you hear you see people say that all the time. Yeah. Like someone passes or something happens to someone, it's like you're such a big impact on me and all this stuff. And I was like, I never got that. Like I, I don't know that feeling because I've never felt that way. But while this dude's gone, and you're like, dude, this guy was like the reason I even thought I could right do anything subconsciously you know? too. Like yeah, upon, you know, you go on, you go throughout your life, and then when they pass like that it's like oh shit like I, I fucked with him hard yeah and it's and it's like i fell off too like after like i think macadelic was like the last thing i really listened to mm-hmm. and i still listen to some of his singles whatever but i didn't really like follow him that much i you know whatever i forgot to chill too for a second yeah you know whatever so i just forgot about it but it was just a simple fact that like this dude was the one who told me that i could basically by yeah. sh- by being successful at a, such a young age he let me know that it was possible and it's just trash that yeah. you sucks. know fucking drugs man it's fucked up man drugs and uh other stuff well i mean that shit is scary man you never know whatever things are laced with or like yeah. drug dealers like i know a bunch of drug dealers man they're all fucking sketchy yeah you know just give me their number okay <laughs> <laughs> oh man um nah, anyway but- I think we could wrap this up yeah guys if you haven't noticed we're going full length videos on youtube now fl full length go to youtube.com slash the basement yard check out all the videos all the clips are on there too we're going to set it we're going to make a new channel mm-hmm. for all the clips but all the videos they're going to stay on this channel big ones youtube.com slash the basement yard go subscribe you can watch the entire thing from now on okay there you go. Putting your boy to work. Unless you're listening to this on Patreon a week early, then it's not up there yet. Yeah, that is, yeah. <laughs> don't go to YouTube. Yeah. Um, but yeah, um, that is all. Danny, where can they find you? Uh, you can find me at Danny Lil Priori on Twitter and Instagram. It's lit. And in your hearts. Oh my God. Sorry. Um, and in Adidas, apparently. Anyway. Uh, yeah, that is all from the basement yard this week. Danny, go suck those toes. See you guys next time. Wait, you don't taste jizz? What? Sorry. <laughs>